it occurs to me that I didn't uh, give a real good example of uh, what debugger does on the system in the last video. And now that I have uh, the one or two mistakes I made in entering the code removed, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show it at work. So what we'll do is start the terminal, in this case, which is a grid case laptop. We'll turn that on. The application I'm using to communicate with the computer is an uh, old DOS program called Term. So T E R M. And now we'll go ahead and load that program. This particular grid doesn't have a hard drive in it, it just has a little 720k floppy on the side, but the terminal program and DOS and a few other things fit easily on that disk. When terminal first starts, I'll go to the setup menu, enter, baud rate, and 9600 baud, and then tell terminal to start. Next thing I'll do is go over to the uh, computer, set it to the 7300 address, which is the starting address of the uh, debugger program hit start and now debugger should be running if I just hit return it'll just give me a line advance you'll see that I could go over to the terminal and enter an address directly in octal slash and it will show that location or examine a register directly like register 3 which has 007447 located in it at this time so now by using the uh, little serial terminal you can interrogate registers and memory locations or change the contents without having to use little switches on the front of the system uh, I didn't show before, but to examine the registers on the system, there is uh, four little switches, one for each register. So that would be register zero and the number that we put in it, register one, register two, and register three. And of course, you already saw from the last video that if you enter an address in Octal, and go to examine you could go to that memory location and address it and last but not least this is what the july 1969 nova debug one manual looks like or at least the pdf of it